powerful telescope ever built has taken its position in space. Launched by a rocket 30 days ago from French Guiana, the James Webb Space Telescope is now in place, costing over 8 billion euros. The telescope now finds itself 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. To talk more about this now, we're joined by Francisco Diego, Senior Research Fellow at the Department of Physics and Astronomy at University College London. Francisco, this is a pretty cool uh, project, I have to say, because we're talking about ultimately the origins of the universe. So how will this all work? Break it down for us. Uh, there are several aspects here, Helena. It's important to remember the, the, the magnitude of this project is, uh, uh, imagine now uh, thousands of technicians and scientists putting their brains together for decades to produce this amazing machine that is going to, to unravel amazing mysteries in the, in the, in the universe, in all, all parts of the universe. The launch by the European Space Agency, the Ariane 5 rocket, was perfect. And it was with such a kind of precision that could put the, uh, the, um, the James Webb telescope exactly in the right place, as, as you said, at one and a half million kilometers away with the right speed. It was an amazing uh, achievement because that saves a lot of fuel for the space telescope now to be able to, to operate for longer time, which will be over 10 years, uh, we expect. Now, from the point of view of, uh, of the science that we, we are going to see, it's, it's fascinating. It's very versatile. Of course, it's only looking at the infrared part of the spectrum, which is uh, essentially heat. And this is the reason why it needs to be called to temperatures. I mean, the telescope at the moment is, is still cooling down. To, re to achieve a temperature of minus 240 degrees or something like that, because the heat itself becomes light, and the, the heat of the telescope will be a, an obstruction to the observations that the telescope has to do. But uh, with this kind of, uh, of color, of, of, of kind of the infrared radiation, um, the telescope can penetrate the universe in a way never done before, uh, to, to break the clouds of gas and dust to reach the places where the first stars, the first galaxies were formed uh, over 13,000 million years ago, which is fascinating. Now, the other important aspect is the more is closer to us, uh, of course, formation of galaxies, but then within the galaxy, the, the, the formation of uh, stars and planets, the formation of solar systems, and the uh, characterization, you know, when you have a planet going in front of a star, mm -hmm. an extrasolar planet, you can see the the, uh, the, uh, the light of the star goes through the mm -hmm. atmosphere of the planet, and with a telescope of this magnitude, you can actually characterize the chemical composition of that atmosphere, which is extremely important for yeah. uh, looking for signatures for, for living, uh, living uh, organisms there. So, Francisco, we're talking about understanding more about the formation of stars and galaxies. As you say, really fascinating stuff. When can we hope to start getting some of the first pictures and, and first information? Yeah, it is a bit of a, of a patience uh, game here because, of course, the telescope has just arrived there and say, OK, let's open the telescope and start taking pictures. But it doesn't work like that. As I said, the telescope has to cool down. And now if we see the mirror, the mirror has these 18 segments of beryllium material, which is coated with gold. And these 18 segments are, have to be put together at the same level to, to really to really see the uh, the uh, the formation of the whole mirror as a single piece and this uh, disparity between the, the the adjacent mirrors has to come with it a precision of a uh, one ten thousandth of the thickness of a hair of a human hair so that's the kind of precision that this technology is achieving to make these 18 mosaic uh, of uh, hexagonal mirrors to make the, to make them to behave like a single optical mirror